had more than two or three subs. So we try to monitor it from our end. So how can the board be assured that that's going to happen, so that, so that we don't put ourselves back in that position? Because I mean, I, I mean, I'm sure you view this the same way I do. That's not an acceptable um, outcome. Our, our goal is that we would find one sub and one sub would stay in the position for the whole time, and that we wouldn't have a variety of subs. There are times where we don't know we're going to need a long-term situation. I, I mentioned that, so you might have a couple of subs for that reason. I think it's a process of us um, reminding and marketing people, of, you know, keeping an active database. Um, I don't, at the top of my head, have another uh, immediate option for you. Did you have a suggestion or something that you would like us to do? I would like to, us to develop a system that doesn't allow that to occur. So. Well, we have a system that tries to prevent that from occurring occasionally as in the situation you became aware of, it does happen. Uh, so what we're putting in place from having had that experience is we're trying to remind staff and principals to work with us and alert us. We're trying to help the principals find people immediately that will stay in the position. And we're trying to stay on top of the fact that if it's been four or five subs, the principal should be talking to us about, I need somebody long term and I can't keep flipping in and out. And we should be looking at our system, and we do. We pull reports every week and try to see if we see an unusual pattern. Do, do when we when we go back and look at a scenario like this, do we look at do we do we pick out those names of those individuals who said I'm I'm going to remain in, in this position for a long period of time and somehow flag those names so that we don't allow them to get back into the system and create similar issues in some in other areas. We do look at people who've been unreliable and uh, inactivate them, and we do keep track of people who've done that. Yes, so that's another step we're trying to take. How long does the process to once you decide you're going to hire, once you decide you're going to hire somebody through EdJoin, how long does that process take from decision to hire? And I know I recognize that that's probably not going to be the same all the time, but so you would uh, have advertised on EdJoin that you were looking for a sub, and then you'd get a set of applications in. So you'd screen those applications to see if they hold the appropriate credential. Um, and then you would bring them in to fingerprint them. And fingerprinting can take anywhere from a day or two to a couple of weeks, depending on people's prints. Uh, but normally, when we advertise something on EdJoin, we can turn it around in a week to two weeks. Okay. Questions? I'd just like to say what you described is a very um, comprehensive process, and there are lots of those unknowns that occur, and I think you've covered a lot of bases in your description and your process, and I think you're doing the best you can to, you know, some of it you don't have ESP for is what you're some, sometimes they don't have ESP. Sometimes people are flames. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, I, I unfortunately, think you, you yeah experienced a lot and you've come up with a lot of systems to to block a lot of it so i appreciate that. and it is one of the things that we work on every week the director of personnel and i do take a look at the reports and we do talk to the sub desk person about how things are going at the office managers meetings monthly we talk about that that's one of the topics we touch base with them on and principals can give us feedback through the principals meetings and i've been working closely with the directors and staffs also just like to say to Gary, sometimes you have a very difficult class and the teacher who left may have extraordinary class management skills and be able to handle that class well. And when someone else comes in, they don't have it all down. It's not a, it's not a routine and they, be, they sort of bring their own, <clears throat> their own method and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. So if they come in thinking that they'll be able to get a, a, you know, a handle on this class and, and, and Hopefully, you know, they will have been left enough plans that they can see the direction that they'll be going. Then they can they'll stay in it. But it's a really thankless job if you are, if you're in a difficult class and you don't have the support of the, of knowing clearly where you need to go. You can see that when we talk about what our teachers do, board math, board language, this, all these kinds of things, you, not every sub is going to, be willing to spend 45 minutes after school preparing the next day's board language and board math. So, I mean, we do really require a lot of our teachers, and they so, and they put that out every day. So when you bring in a sub, it's not always so easy to find somebody who can do that or is willing to do that. 
I would agree. I, I mean, and I, I certainly recognize that anytime we can have one of our teachers in a classroom and not a substitute, it's a far superior uh, scenario than it is to have a substitute. But I, I wor you know, I'm concerned about the support that uh, I recognize. I mean, you can have some classes that are specific, where a specific educator would have been already set up and, and recognize all the issues of that class and be able to be successful in there. And you bring a sub into that same situation, and you don't get that same level of uh, expertise. But I, you know, recently I was out at a high school and I watched a sub show up at the beginning of a busy day, and uh, was kind of fumbling around and asking some questions and so forth. Didn't really get any help, except for if you walk that direction, that's where the classroom's at. Ask around out. There. It's out there. This is the classroom number. Today you're teaching this. And I thought to myself, you're sending a you're sending a, a person who doesn't even know where the doesn't know where the classroom's at, but seemed to be pretty well lost in general, out to take the place at a secondary school of a uh, probably a, you know a, an educator that had been in that in that classroom for some time.